Hey, welcome back to Triple R. This is that Dollar Tree uh, house that I picked up. Spray painted black. It was purple, white, and pink. So I thought it was a cool spray painted. Maybe with some Batmobiles in front of it. So let's check it out. So here it is. Put it against like a black background. Let me get it all black. It looks pretty cool, I think. I think it turned out pretty good looking. Easy spray paint. A couple coats. You can keep going over or touch up the bricks because you see the purple in there. But that kind of reminds me of the NES Batman game, so that's kind of cool. I figured I'd put a light behind it. Just any kind of light, I got like a Dollar Tree light behind there. It was close, it has a red back, um, casing. So if you had a black casing, of course you probably wouldn't see it. It would look a lot better because that red's shining through. But it's cool to see light come through the windows, I think. So it's just this Dollar Tree light. It has two modes there. So a little blurry, but I think this phone cam might be on this last leg. We got some Batmobiles in front, uh, two classic styles and one of the newer concept styles. So I think it looked pretty good in front of it. Uh, let's rearrange this a little bit, make it look a little bit better. So here we have the concept car right in front of the house. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, definitely matches up, I think, really well. So, put the other Batmobile here. Got the gray version of the 66 Batmobile. So it looks pretty good, gray and the black. And then we have more of the classic 66 Batmobile with kind of the custom paint. Not my favorite with the custom paint, but still looks good. So I think it turned out pretty well. And for a dollar. Yeah, a dollar, you can't really beat that. Figure I put Batman in front here. He's a little big comparison to the house but still you can probably get a maybe a nano fig so I put it on top of the house and doing this with the lighting I saw something pretty cool it made a pretty cool shadow so I'm gonna show that here in a second so depending on how you light it in your background you can get a pretty cool shadow effect with the house and he's um, well, pretty big there <laughs> so I thought it looked pretty cool Again, you can touch up that paint if you want to. So that's my customization slash so spray paint in a, a Dollar Tree house to make it look Halloween, Gotham-esque. I think it turned out pretty good though. I'm for a dollar, getting a can of spray paint. I think it's, it's okay. So we'll put some uh, before and after pictures. So here's some after pictures and then I'll grab some before pictures so you can see what it looked like before and how it turned out here. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.